Welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you're new here. My name is Anna and as you guys can tell from the title of today's video, I will finally be showing you guys an updated how I display my crystals slash kind of a little bit of an updated crystal haul for you guys. So let's get right into it because a lot of you guys have been requesting this. A lot of you guys have been wanting to see how I display my crystals around my new space. So let's get into it. All right, so let's get started, you guys. So I'm so sorry, the lighting isn't 100% because I am actually using my phone's flash because my ring light is not tall enough or large enough to come all the way up here. As you guys can tell, this is a really, really big shelf that I have. So if you guys saw my previous how I display my crystals, you guys knew that I had two shelves kind of next to each other displaying all these beautiful crystals. Some of these, right? A lot of these pieces are newer pieces on here. So I ended up consolidating a lot of that into this one shelf so I will link this gorgeous shelf in my description if any of you guys are interested it is six tier and as you can tell the shelves are huge I mean just look how much I can fit on them so I will definitely link that for any of you guys that are interested so let's start with the first shelf so on the first shelf I do have my bigger statement pieces so a lot of my pink amethyst and the reason I do have these all the way up here is because they are bigger so if I am sitting just looking at this from a couch from a bed it is kind of high up so you do want the taller pieces kind of up top so you can still mesmerize them and love them and look at them so that's why i do have my beautiful pink amethyst slabs some of them right not all of them all the way up here and then i just have some more pink amethyst the flames a mountain a cloud a lot of top polished pink amethyst pieces i also have a lot of my free forms over here a druzy galaxy amethyst a mukai, a pink opal, and then I have a ton of labradorite. You guys know, well, if you didn't, now you guys do. I absolutely love labs as well. So I do have a ton of those. And just a variety of little mixed clusters here. We do have some empty spaces because I did recently do a de-stash of some of my collection. But I did end up keeping a lot, as you guys can tell. And from what you will see in this video, I have a ton of... Of crystals so then moving on to the next shelf is my tower shelf I know a lot of people like to sometimes organize their crystals by colors and things like that I just wish I had enough space to organize them by colors but yeah here are all of my towers I have a ton of towers now if you guys know me you know I don't just keep statement pieces I keep a ton of crystals I am absolutely obsessed I even have some really nice minis some fluorites flower agates some rue tiles so yeah this is my tower shelf as you guys can tell we have a ton of towers and then back here I just kind of have my chunkier taller pieces I have a beautiful black tourmaline right here a smoky quartz absolutely gorgeous and then these are just double terminated juicy agate points i just didn't really have a place to put them so i just figured let me put them on this shelf it'll be okay not a big deal and then the next shelf we have our beautiful spheres how gorgeous so i do have them organized from like the bigger ones in the back to the smaller ones up front i'm gonna slowly scan that for you guys and i hope this is clear how gorgeous and then i do have a little section of eggs here a lot of people have asked me if i do have eggs and kind of why i bring eggs in i absolutely love eggs i think they are super cute i have a collection myself as you guys can tell so this is my little sphere egg and kind of miscellaneous shelf now if you guys don't know i do do personal hauls on my channel as well so if you guys are wondering what all these tower spheres clusters are i do have a ton of personal hauls up on my channel but I'm just kind of scanning so you guys can see I have some calcites, some beautiful druzy agates, ocean jasper, strawberry quartz, chalcedony, mukai, amethyst, moss agate, fluorites. You know I love my fluorites. So I have a lot of those, a lot of labradorites again, honey calcites, ocean jasper, a beautiful aura agate druzy. So just a ton of different crystals. You guys know me. I am a crystal obsessed fanatic. And then as we come along, over here I do have some carvings and then a majority of this shelf is just fluorites and Larimar you guys know I've been really obsessed with fluorite 
since like the beginning, since I've started collecting. And then here's my little Laramar collection that I just started this year. So I got Laramar into my shop and I'm not gonna lie, I did end up keeping a lot as you guys can tell. So I kept some bigger spheres, some slabs, some little minis, some turtles, some moons. I've also gotten these from a few other shops as well. And then back here, I do have some little Druzy Agate pieces as well. And then all right here, starting from the back, towards the front and the middle section is all different fluorites. You guys absolutely know that I love my flora and I cannot get enough. So of course I have almost a whole shelf dedicated just to fluorites because I'm absolutely obsessed with them. And then from the fluorites, I did actually end up putting my mini spheres over here. I absolutely love minis. So I have a collection of different mini spheres over here. Then I just have some more fluorite, azurite, and a desert rose and kind of a little display box. And then I have a sunstone and lapidolite cube piece just because I do have my fluorites cubes here. So it just made sense to put these right here. And then I also have a little dragon head collection. I don't know if a lot of you guys have seen this. Some of this has been in my updated crystal collection. I do like dragon heads as well as skulls. I will show you guys my skull shelf. It is absolutely insane. And then as we go lower, I have another shelf of just clusters, all different clusters. I do have a beautiful petrified wood piece, a beautiful blue celestite, a huge cluster, some pink amethyst clusters, regular amethyst clusters, and just a lot of in between. You guys know I absolutely love any crystal that sparkles and shines and is druzy. So of course I had to display these all kind of on a shelf where I can see them because I love my sparkle. And again, just a lot of raw pieces kind of in their natural cluster form. I do have a smoky and a rose quartz flame back there as well. And then let me show you guys, because I do actually have a pink amethyst slab just kind of standing in the corner right here. This is a beautiful pink amethyst slab that I did have in my personal collection, my updated haul. And then in here, I have a lot of random different little palm stones, carry stones, some donuts, some mini clusters, just a little bit of everything. It just made sense to kind of put it in a bowl because I just had so many. And then over here, I have a lot of carvings. So some star carvings, some moon carvings, some wands, some double terminated points. And then again, I have another bowl of just a lot of random little things here. So as you guys can tell, it is a really, really humongous shelf. It holds a lot, but this is this display that I have in the corner right here. And then let's move on to the dresser I have in my room. So I do have another pink amethyst flame. I do have a candle holder, a beautiful onyx leaf carving, a beautiful moss agate angel. That's me and my parents back in Russia when I was a little baby. And then I do have a little ocean jasper bowl with a lot of random things in here as well. Some spheres, some donuts. Again, I really love my minis. So I just thought this was so perfect and I love the color of the ocean jasper. And then as we continue, you guys, I am not kidding when I told you I have them incorporated everywhere. So I have a pink amethyst tower. I have a beautiful spirit quartz by my perfumes, some other beautiful druzy clusters. I also have an amethyst over here and a citrine. Now let me see if I can show you guys a little bit. So I move that little bag over so you guys can see. So I do have a citrine tower right here a beautiful amethyst piece right here as well. You guys, I am just full of crystals. And as we continue, I also do have some beautiful crystals right here. This is my little amethyst altar, I like to call it. It is all beautiful Druzy amethyst tower, higher quality ones, beautiful clusters with gorgeous caves. I absolutely love these little amethyst pieces, a little amethyst Buddha a Buddha head, a pink amethyst, a little amethyst lotus carving. I also have an amethyst ring as well as another cluster and actually a Labradorite Buddha. So I call this my little amethyst corner just cause it's really cute and it's right on top of my jewelry kind of armoire. I'm not kidding you guys when I said that I've incorporated crystals everywhere and the majority are in my room because I have cats and they will knock everything down and be little menaces. And then right here on my TV, I do have this beautiful banded onyx bowl. You guys know I love anything banded. So I got these really cute onyx bowls in, which will be posted soon, so stay tuned. So I ended up keeping one just by here, just to throw little knickknacks if I ever have them. And then I do have a Shungite Buddha right here, 
with a little beautiful high grade sunstone sphere so that is really good for the bad radiation and kind of electronic waves that your electronics give off so your tv your cell phones you know it's all radiation so you kind of really want to be careful so i do have a lot of shungite by my electronics just to be on the safer side and then here we have another little kind of altar i want to call it these are all my beautiful citrine pieces now i do have a lot of them i have a lot of minis some bigger statement pieces and then i do have a fluorite tower here as well i absolutely love citrine and i don't know why but this just became my little citrine altar right here for some reason and then i just added this fluorite because i really like the way it looks so kind of let me show you guys so this is kind of where it is so you guys get an idea that's my tv setup that's the shelf with all the crystals oh and i also do have a crystal geode right here i ended up getting this from a small business on instagram as well i will link that down below really really cute so yeah as you guys can tell these crystals are incorporated everywhere and that's not it because i have yet another shelf full of crystals you guys i was not kidding so if you guys saw my previous crystal display this shelf was actually on the other side and it was just kind of it was this shelf and a more rounded corner shelf so i did end up keeping this shelf just as extra crystal space storage you guys know i have a ton of crystals so i will start from the top so again a lot of this you already saw in my previous display and then my skulls were also displayed kind of differently so now i have a complete shelf just for my skulls and you guys my skull collection is insane. I will definitely be getting a video of that up. I know I keep saying it, but I promise I definitely will. And I will go through these one by one because I do have a ton of skulls. And then I just kind of put my flames over here as well. A beautiful amethyst agate moon carving. Just kind of, you know, I fit crystals where I could. And then this is another shelf, again, just miscellaneous. A lot of carvings, a lot of animal carvings, flowers, moons, roses, just a lot of different items. You guys, I am not kidding you. I am such a hoarder. It is so bad, but honestly, I just cannot get enough of crystals. I also do have a little mushroom collection over here. So yeah, again, guys, just a lot, a little bit of everything. And then here is my beautiful heart shelf. Now I have a ton of hearts, a beautiful amethyst piece, those beautiful agate slices that I got in. I had to keep some for myself, as well as a ton of mini hearts in different type of materials. You guys know I love my hearts. And then as I mentioned, I do have a ton of Mexican fluoride hearts. I absolutely love them. They are just so gorgeous. I had to keep some for myself. And again, just a miscellaneous bowl with a lot of mini crystal mushrooms. It is very random. I try to kind of be structured with how I display my crystals, but it's also kind of all over the place. And then I also do have a little pyramid collection over here as well. So I do have some spaces on some shelves just to add more whenever I do want to add more items. But I really need to relax because as you guys can tell, just my room, I have a ton of different crystals. So just kidding, I almost forgot the crystals that I have on my bedside table. So as you guys can tell, my bed is right here. And here are the beautiful crystals that I keep right by my bedside table. So a lot of towers, a lot of little carvings, some tumbles. Then I have a few crystal bracelets right here that I wear on a daily basis. And then some rose quartz, some labradorite, a beautiful chairite disc. And then I also have this really cool shungite kind of phone charger stand. So let me show you guys because I'm kind of using this as my light, but I'll show you. You can put your phone right here. And again, as I mentioned, shungite is really good to protect you just from like the bad waves that your cell phone, your television, all your electronics give off. So let me know if you guys want to update it, kind of what's by my bedside table tour, because I'm not going to do that in this video, but I'm just going to briefly scan over. And I can just let you know, I do have some citrines, some fluorites, a lot of different crystals, some halite, some amethyst, 
just a lot of really good stuff to keep kind of by your bedside table to be more relaxed to help you with sleep so let me know if you guys want to tour that because i will definitely do something like that for you guys and then let's go off to the rest of the house as we walk down the hallway i did want to show you guys i do have another beautiful geode piece that i did buy from another etsy seller so i will link that down in the description down below as well now you guys can see what looks like crystals but these are more just kind of decorative glass or maybe even like plastic just for like arts and crafts. I don't think a lot of these are real crystals. If you do have real crystals in these paintings, they are a lot more expensive. But I just like it because it gives it the effect of like a geode and crystals. And I just think it's super unique and I really gravitated towards it. So I ended up getting this piece and I will definitely link the seller down below. So now let's get into my office. So I was debating if I was going to show this, but I do want to show this to you guys because I know a few people had asked and were curious. So this is what my office looks like. And I just want to show you guys when I first started, this is what I started with. This is where I stored all my crystals, all my shipping supplies were these two rolling carts. I got these off of Amazon. This is where it all started. It all started on these two carts and then it kind of manifested and became what it is today which is so insane and so crazy so here are a lot of the crystals so a lot of these are posted some of these are not posted yet i even have some more top shelves that i need to fill up with these guys these are all new crystals and i still have more coming on the way so this is kind of where the magic happens this is the second bedroom that has turned into my office space so a printer, I got one of these Lazy Susans to try to do better with my pictures. So we'll see how that turns out. Label maker, just your standard stuff. And then I did wanna show you guys, I do have some personal crystals on here as well. So I do have some amethyst, a citrine, some malachite, a carnelian, another labradorite, another amethyst, a pink amethyst, a sodalite, chip, female bust is what I call it. And then yeah, just some little knickknacks. Those are crystals that I'm gonna sell. This is actually my little photography setup. So this is what it looks like. And then on here, I have some more crystals. So I have some like hearts, some palm stones. I mean, it just goes on and on and on. But this is just a little look into my crystal nook, as I wanna call it, my little crystal room. This is where I feel the most at peace. I absolutely love this space. It's just, yeah. This is my little workspace. I just wanted to show you guys because I did have some personal crystals in here. Also, some people were curious and wanted a bit of a tour. So here it is. If you want a more in-depth tour, I can do that as well. But for this video, I'm just doing kind of like a general scan of the area. So let's keep going. So as we keep walking down this hallway, I guess I will do a little tour for you guys because I know some of you guys really wanted it. I do have this front entrance where I do keep some crystals as well. So let me show you guys, I do have this mirror. This is a super old mirror that I ended up actually just spray painting this really gray kind of, I don't even, I don't know what you wanna call it, kind of like a chalky gray color that just goes so perfectly. And then this little shelf that I have, just so I can throw my keys and stuff when I come right in the door. So let me show you what I have. I do have a little petrified wood dish where I do keep my keys. And then I also do have a Buddha, a beautiful dream amethyst and then some cute little tumbles right at the front. So I do have a black tourmaline piece, a rose quartz, a lapidolite, and a Laramar sphere. The Laramar sphere, I'm not sure. It just kind of felt right, so I kind of put it there. The rose quartz and the lapidolite tumble, I actually keep in my pocket. So whenever I go anywhere, I kind of keep these in my jacket pocket. And the beautiful black tourmaline, I just keep right at the front because black tourmaline is actually a really great stone to have right at your door just to protect from any like negative and evil energies. I would highly recommend, I told you guys this before, to definitely get a black tourmaline piece to have right by your door. And then as we browse here, here's my kitchen, but I don't have any crystals in here, but I will show you my annoying bird. So this is my little kitchen area. I do have this little plant thing that I got from Marshalls. So sorry that it's so dark, I'm trying to work with the sort of lighting here. And then let me show you my bird. This is Bird, she chirps a lot. Her name is Birdie actually. 
she is a chirper and again you guys i'm so sorry i'm trying to deal with like the lighting here but it's not that great again i don't have my ring light with me i just have my phone flashlight but that's bird and i will actually show you guys my cat because she is actually hanging out in the living room and then as we go this way i will show you the crystals i do have a whole nother shelf here a lot of these display items were in my bedroom before but i did end up moving them out to the living room and then let me show you my other little baby my little animal baby it's my little fur baby <laughs> she's like mom what are you doing <laughs> so she sleeps right here in the living room show you guys kind of like the living room tour I do have an elliptical because we are still working from home, so you have to keep in shape. So then let me show you guys the crystals that I have in my living room. So I do have some bigger pieces here just because they are a lot nicer. So I did kind of want to display them kind of front and center. And again, I do still have room just because I will keep adding to my collection because this is an obsession. So let me show you guys what I have. I do have the beautiful pink amethyst slabs out here. You guys saw this in one of my previous hauls. The beautiful large pink amethyst tower as well. I also do have a beautiful pink amethyst sphere and just a lot of random little things as well. Some ocean jasper flames, some labradorite, some amethyst wings, another shungite pyramid, an ocean jasper pink amethyst pyramid, some beautiful little agate birds, a fluorite bust. You guys know I love these busts. A little trollite whale's tail, a fluorite rose, Another beautiful Druzy agate, some more beautiful Druzy amethyst pieces from Uruguay, a really small little garden quartz right here in the middle. And then I also do have this dish and apophyllite. I just, you guys, I have a ton everywhere. It's kind of ridiculous. And then on this side, I kind of dedicated to my bigger and nicer spheres as well as towers. So I have some beautiful ocean jaspers here, some beautiful Druzy amethyst towers. I mean, sorry, spheres. And then I do have some more bigger, beautiful statement piece towers as well. Some ocean jaspers, another citrine. If you guys don't know, I have citrine everywhere because I am manifesting abundance of just everything. Happiness, love, wealth, health, just everything. So I do have citrine in almost every single room of the house. And then I do have this little kind of decor item that I actually am bringing into the shop. It's a little feather on a beautiful cluster. And then again, I have another pink amethyst holder and then as well as a beautiful celestite piece. And then I also do have some onyx items right here. So I have this kind of little container as well as a bowl. These are some things that I've gotten throughout my travels over the years. And then I do have another shelf dedicated to shells, some beautiful ammonites. You guys know I love my ammonites. I have a ton of them. You guys know, well, if you guys don't know, I actually do love the water, the sea. I love going to the beach. I love collecting seashells. You guys can see I have a ton of seashells here. So I just thought it'd be appropriate to kind of have a little dolphin carving, all of the ammonites right here, just kind of set up all nicely. I do have some agate druzy geodes as well. And then let me show you guys, I do have a little section just for crystal trees. So shout out to you, Delia, you are absolutely amazing. She is the person that I've gotten the majority of my crystal trees from. She has made a lot of these custom made. My forest is one of my favorites. This is a newer piece that I got from her. It's a calcite with rose quartz and moonstone chips. And it has a beautiful fairy carving on it how unique she comes up with the most unique trees and items that i absolutely love the beautiful pink baswana agate tree that i got from her so all these beautiful crystal trees are from her she does an amazing job and she actually does sell these over at our mother's crystal shop on instagram as well so go check both of them out delia i will link her as well as our mother's crystal shop on instagram as well and then i just have some agate druzy trees on both sides that I kind of got in for Christmas. And then a little cactus here. This is kind of my little tree and rainforest area. It just kind of made sense. I think this shelf came together really nicely. And I do have more room for more trees. So Delia, 
you gotta fill my little, you gotta fill my shelf up. I gotta get some more trees from you. And then the last shelf that I have down here that has some more crystals, just has those beautiful crystal chip bears that I had in my shop a while ago. I still do have some. And then I have a Druzy Amethyst over here by my books, as well as just some top polish pieces, an emerald, a fluorite, another smoky quartz, and a mookite. And then I also do have a rose quartz candle holder and a beautiful aura candle holder. So this is this side, just to show you guys kind of like an overview. I have a ton of crystals and I was definitely not kidding you guys. So I apologize if I'm a little out of breath. I do have to keep kind of crouching down and coming back up to show you guys. So I'm sorry if my breathing is kind of a little bit deep in this video. I'm trying my best to kind of take a pause and then continue the video. So let me show you the crystals I have on my table. So here's a little friend. She's gonna say hi. <laughs> she's not in the mood she's like mom what are you doing why are you interrupting my sleep yeah say why are you interrupting my sleep so let me show you guys some more crystals that i have right here kind of on my table in the living room so as i mentioned i do have these shungai buddhas everywhere i also do have another little citrine tower as well as a beautiful citrine sphere that i got from bad witch crystals on instagram as well and then i also do have a little another pink amethyst slash amethyst display piece just because I really like, you know, pink amethyst and citrines. Again, I kind of have them everywhere. I am working. That is why my laptop is open. So I am doing this video while I'm working. Shh, don't tell anybody. So I ended up getting these two dream catchers from a shop on Facebook. I will link them, but they are going out of business. And then I did get this one. This was labeled as a rose quartz dream catcher, but these are definitely more dyed quartz or kind of craftsy chips i don't think these are real rose quartz they definitely don't look like it these definitely do look dyed and kind of man-made not real rose quartz but i just really did like this dream catcher and then i also kind of got this chakra one as well that i thought was so cute so i do have these hanging up right here and then i do have these really cute druzy agate towers that I just kind of put right here because I thought they were so cute. And you guys know me, you know I love my sparkle and shine. So I kind of love seeing these light up. And then this arrangement is actually from Hadley and Wren on Instagram. I will link that as well. I absolutely love her arrangements. They are so gorgeous. I have them all over my house. I think I already have three or four of them kind of all over. It's really ridiculous. I'm obsessed. And then as we keep going, I do have these really cute onyx leaf dishes on both sides so let me show you guys one on the left side one on the right side and then on the other side i do have this buddha carving which i am gonna mix out i do want to switch it out for a ceramic one a bigger ceramic one i'm just kind of waiting for that to come in because i just don't like how the wood one looks so i definitely will switch that out for a ceramic white one to kind of go with this vase that I have. It just makes more sense than the wood. And then here is another arrangement from her as well. She works wonders. So they all come with the vases as well. So this arrangement came with that vase. This arrangement came with this vase. She is so super talented. And then I wanted to show you guys another new obsession of mine is actually opal. So I ended up getting some opal. Now, if you guys know, opal is pretty expensive. It is not a cheap stone at all. So I did get some kind of chips and some cabs. And I displayed this in this like little display case. Let me show you guys. I'm going to kind of bring it up closer to show you. So I do want to show you guys this up close because these are my first ever opals. So a lot of the chips that you see in here are actually Ethiopian opals. And then the cabs, this one, the heart and the little teardrops are actually Mexican opals. And I just thought this was a really cool way to display them, right? Because I did get them in chip and cab form. So they kind of, if I just put them on a shelf somewhere, they're just kind of all bunched up together. So I wanted to do them in more more of a display piece so i did find this display stand on etsy i believe i can definitely link it as well it's just plastic so you would just put this down open it put everything you want to display in it and it just kind of displays like this and i just thought it was so cute because again i really love the opals and how they shine and i just wanted them to be displayed in some type of form i didn't want to just kind of put them down on the shelf and have them displayed that way i did want it to be you know a bit more fancy they were expensive opals are not cheap so i definitely wanted them more displayed more of like a statement piece 
So yeah, guys, I think we are done. That is the tour of everything. I hope you guys enjoyed. So thank you guys for all your support. I really hope you enjoyed this video. And let me know like if you got some ideas from how to set up your crystals after you've seen this. I really would be interested to know. So till next time, thank you for all the support and the love. Bye guys.